Hey guys, and welcome back to the Seven Sense Paranormal Podcast. I'm your host, Laurel Cooper. So welcome to day eight of the 12 days of Christmas. So today is the $20 Amazon gift card to give away. So um, yesterday was the, I believe, basket of trinkets and stuff. And then before that was the in instant read thermometer. So put the comments down below, guys. Try to get your $20 gift card to Amazon. Because, guess what's on Amazon? I'll let you look. Hold on. Would that be their rules on Amazon? Kindle? Get it today? Hell yeah. Okay, so super excited about that. Also, um, wanted to show you guys an example of why. Yesterday I talked a little bit about uh, how to communicate with the paranormal, how to set boundaries with the paranormal, and how to not be so afraid every time you hear something, but to realize that unless you are getting that really just negative feeling, there's nothing to fear, it's just noises. I mean, they are trying to get your attention. But uh, I did say that they are here. They're all around us. Like every house probably has some kind of paranormal activity. You know, I mean, the, the, the planet's been around for how long now? Have humans have been around for how long now? You think there's not? energy out there uh but one of the reasons why is actually in one of these videos uh i questioned why you didn't want to transition and th this is the response basically is a fear of god some are just afraid to transition to go to the other side some are afraid of what could happen some are afraid of judgment some are afraid of being damned and so they don't want to go to the next step so this is one of those examples where even the slightest bit of communication did some real good. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys one of the reasons why I do this. One of the reasons why I like this field. and Why I'm very, very grateful that I have the opportunity to do stuff like this. Because stuff like this is amazing. Where you get to actually assist somebody you can't see but you know you're helping and you can hear responses and you can you can know that you're having a dialogue with them but you can't see them so it's like I'm just here let me help you let me help you let me help you it's not just like that though you know I can actually get something back you know either through the equipment and sometimes just with my own talent gift I guess um, I can actually have a dialogue and I can actually be of service and help. And so this is one of the times where we helped and I just wanted to show you guys cause it's amazing to me. So hang on one second. All right, so this is Scared of God part one. And if we have time, we'll do two parts to it. Do you feel like talking today? You know what to do if you feel like talking. Make the lights go off. And these are just still photos of the orbs. Because there's a green circle of 
above the attic. Yeah. And then you guys can see right here, and it's harder to see here, but easier to see here. Uh, there's somebody on the floor underneath the TV. So it'd be like right here in this area, because this is the TV in that screen. And then the rook's going off. It's all in this area right here. Sorry, I'm just... And I was sitting right here. So I'm the one recording this. So... Will you come back so I can... Do you want to come over and play with Boo Buddy? He likes it when you hold his hand. That's Boo Buddy in action. So I want to just add real quickly that I also dusted the hell out of this house before recording all this stuff. So none of this is dust. You're seeing like I got orbs coming out this way. So since I'm getting activity. Yeah, I'll turn that down. I'm really loud when I talk. See, it docks out at first and then goes to 160 when this thing's going off. It's like it kept doing that. It was pretty wild. Now, it's hard to transfer audio, so if you guys can't hear this, please go check it out on Their Rules at YouTube. It's called Scared of God. You can also see it on TheirRules.com. Again, everything in this corner is starting to go. Do you need 
help to get to God. Are you afraid of God? Oh no. There's no lights yet. They're bound. It's about to happen. Oh, well, good for you. It's a lot of time doing this equipment. You do something and you're afraid of what God is going to say to you. I can tell because this goes off first before things go off. Okay. It's like whatever is right here is answering. We have every right to intervene on your behalf and ask God to accept you. Would you like us to do that? Nothing yet. Okay. Is there another way that you want help? Are you really, really scared? The faintest bounce, but nothing big. Do you feel like you're not ready to meet God? Or to cross over? Can you see a light? Are the numbers going down or something? They missed all zeros. Okay. Nothing's been bouncing or nothing. Are you just not ready to leave here yet? Are you afraid you're going to go to hell? And that bounced for a second. I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second and talk to you. All right, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and play part two real quickly. It's nine more minutes long, but you guys will understand once I play it. Bounced for that one. Do you believe the acts you did in your life would not allow you to go to heaven? Are you religious? I'm getting a lot of orbs coming out this equipment though. You know, God will forgive you even if you don't believe in him. The nicest thing about God is that he loves you unconditionally.
would it be okay with you if we prayed right now and ask God to help you? Do you not believe that God loves you unconditionally? Do you want to just stay here for a while? Have you been here for a long time? Nothing. God loves you no matter what you've done. Were you told you did something bad by somebody else? Or told that you were bad and going to hell in your life? Yeah, I was told that a lot when I was younger. That I'm just bad seed, going to hell. It's not true. God does love you. Wouldn't have given you life if he didn't love you. If you like to be here, that's totally okay. But if you're afraid to move on because you're afraid of what might happen, I've had a glimpse of what I would consider heaven. And I'm not a perfect person. I've done a lot of messed up stuff in my life. But I got a glimpse of it. And it was really cool. So if it's this fear from somebody else telling you you don't matter or you're going to hell because of maybe who you are or what you believe. It's not true. Everybody on this planet, when they're born, are loved by God. So can we help you? Possibly get into a better spot in your life. It's really cool. Is they helping you? Maybe asking God to let you come into heaven or assist you in coming to heaven? Is they helping you trying to cross over? Or is they helping you, helping you love yourself? Maybe come to terms with what's happening and just be at peace.
Would you like us to pray with you? Now we wait a while to make sure that last question wasn't over there where you are. Don't be scared. Father God, we ask and pray that you be with this person in spirit. Guide them to peace and love show them the right way to go and show them that you love them and have forgiveness for them no matter what they've done what they've been told or who they are I know that you have love for all human life accept this person into your kingdom with love and peace. Please help take away this person's fear. that you aren't someone to fear. So kind of what I was talking about, we don't really know what's going on or what, who we're talking to or how they've lived their life before we're interacting with them. So don't know what this person has done or has dealt with in their life before they became not alive to then know what to tell them, you know? And as far as religious goes, I know that that seemed a little religious, but at the same time, that's what we know how to do so i don't know uh i there's other ways of doing stuff that i do sometimes with cleansing and stuff like that but for that i don't know what else to do except for just pray so um anyways i hope you liked the video and for the question of the day day's eight question for that 20 dollars gift card is um I guess what is right here who's that hopefully we can go hunt him down soon <laughs> so I love you guys hope you have a great night and thank you again for letting me let you share or letting me share that with you uh, if you can't hear the audio correctly or if something's weird with the audio please go check out their rules YouTube channel which will be down in the description below also, if you have any paranormal, like, things going on in your house or uh, stories or any kind of things that you want to share, go ahead and go to therrules.com and become a member. You could also get the prize of ghost hunting or paranormal investigating with me. Um, but go ahead and, you know, send us your stuff because we would love to hear from you. And then if you have anything else, Alien, Bigfoot, Mandela... 
I'm your girl. Seventhsensepodcast.com, or you can go ahead and email me at the Seven Sense Paranormal Podcast at gmail.com. You can also text me at 509 795 guys. And if no one's told you today or not, I'll be the first, hopefully. And, well, not actually, hopefully. Hopefully, the very first thing you hear is this. But I love you guys. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye.